Hey everybody, uh, Rob Murray here from Intrigue Media. Um, I wanted to share a little piece on marketing. I was uh, in San Diego last week. It was amazing because I don't know if you can tell right now, but it's snowy and cold as shit here in Canada. Um, and I was at a conference by a digital marketer called the Traffic and Conversion Summit. Um, if you're in business, if you're marketing your stuff, I'd highly recommend going. Uh, next year it's in February. If you just Google Traffic and Conversion Summit, you'll find the info. Um, so the kind of moral of the story for today, I had a, a bunch of takeaways, um, you know, five or six big strategic takeaways and, you know, maybe 50 plus tactical takeaways. I'm going to spend the next, whatever, three months, four months, you know, implementing each of these items. And so it gave me something to do, which is really good. Uh, but I wanted to share with you guys kind of one of the big strategic takeaways that was a bit of an eye opener for us, uh, for me specifically. And it's all around the message you're putting out there. And uh, I gotta tell you, um, we had this wrong, uh, and we still don't have it quite right in our messaging with Intrigue. Uh, but the, the big takeaway was, was around making sure that when you're telling your story, when you're trying to help people understand what it is that you help people with, um, you take a different approach. A lot of times when I uh, check out websites or work with clients, uh, it's, a, it's very we-centric marketing. So we do this, we do that, we sell this. Um, and if you hop on someone's website or social feed, usually it's pretty evident right away that they're the hero, the hero of the story. Now, what I mean by that is if you, if you were to consider, let's just say Batman as an example, and uh, if you're telling that story and you're Batman, it means you're the hero of the story. And people don't really care about like, I don't know, you <laughs> or me when they're trying to figure out what they're trying to do. They care about them. And so the whole idea was to flip the, the narrative to make your clients or your customers the Batman of the story and make yourself the, the Alfred, the guide, someone there to help them get from where they are to where they want to go. And that's just like conceptually the idea. So, you know, stop being Batman in your story because if you're Batman, that means your clients are Robin and no one wants to wear green tights. So the idea is to flip it around. And the big takeaway in terms of like how to tactically implement this is to consider the before state and the after state of a customer or client um, in terms of when they work with you. So if you just consider what problems people have and how do they feel about that before they work with you, and then what problems have you solved and how do people feel about it after they work with you? And then that transition is the message. And so if you were to consider you know, Intrigue, for example, one of the big takeaways we're doing, and if you go to our homepage, intrigueme.ca, you'll see it right now. We have a a nice photo of a, a young businessman at home with his family, and the, the, the message is we take the stress out of marketing, learn how. Because a lot of times people work with us because they're confused, they're overwhelmed, they don't know who to trust, they know they gotta do something but they just don't know where to start. And so they're kind of, you know, doing their thing, they're successful, but they've got this frustration or anxiety around becoming either irrelevant or missing out on you know potential customers and they just don't know how to get started when it comes to you know online marketing you know a good website using social properly uh, email marketing and people might say it's declining and dead but it's not it still converts it's amazing as long as you're doing things relevantly so the whole idea here is just consider the fact that you are helping people and they have a problem and what that problem looks like and how they feel about it and then what does that solution look like and how do they feel about it once they've worked with you and start marketing those messages. So if, you, if someone were to come to our website and, and with all of our marketing messages and we're going to continue to do this, you know, are you a business owner and are you feeling like you're kind of falling behind the times because you haven't figured out how to use digital marketing yet? Well, give us a shout because we take the stress out of marketing and make it so that you can run your business and relax at home on Sundays without having to worry about, do I have this right? Are people coming to find my, my business? So just consider the fact that people have a problem, they feel a certain way about it, address those emotions, and then paint the picture of what it looks like after they're done working with you. Make sure you're the Alfred in your story and not the Batman, because remember, no one wants to wear green tights. Anyway, I hope you got a little tip from that one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll make sure I address them. Thanks, guys. Bye.